earlier today, I got something really, really precious about the behaviors we have that are obnoxious and that we don't want to change them because we feel it's who we are. You understand? And then, so that's the um, issue I was having. And then it, it developed further to just now. Just now I had a thought about that. I mean, further expound on that, that what it is, we are individuals and yet we are the creation itself, each one of us. And then so we need to build that bridge between those two polarities. It's all that. The bridge between the two polarities. Inside and the outside. Uh, the finite and the infinite. The good and the bad. You know, you and me. You know that thing we did? I'm seeing you from the outside, but me from the inside. You see you from the inside, me from the outside, and then how we interact with each other when we realize we're reflections of each other in many ways, like, you know? And then so my voice, I'm speaking my voice, I gotta be obnoxious in my way as I am naturally. I don't go out of my way to do that. It's just that's what comes out perhaps because of what I've I've been through, you know, the genocide, but we've all been through. We've all had genocide and all the whole gamut of human experiences, okay? Rape and incest and slavery and war and injustice and racism. We've all had it. This is, this is shared experience we've all had. So that now having had all of those things, now you see it all makes sense now that now we learn to harmonize with each other. Can you see how beautiful it is? All this thing, stuff we've all been through, as individuals, as, you know, the, the, the races, the, the, the nationalities, the, the ethnicities, whatever you want to name it, the individual histories, everything we've been through with each other, We've gotten some, we've given some, we've all been slaves, we've all been slaveholders, we've all been abusers, we've all been abused, we've all been women, we've all been men. We've had it all. We've been inside, we've been outside. <laughs> my dad used to say, my dad saw uh, a crab. And he had this thought that God was talking, is, I can put the the shell on the outside, the bone on the outside, the flesh on the inside. You can do it the other way. I can, you know, the, all the varieties of life, all the varieties of humans. You know, the, the, the narcissists, the the empaths, and the, all the combinations, all the personality types, all the sex types, all the you know. You, you study, you, you know, you take a class in. Um, uh, uh, abnormal psychology, and take, you take a take up the, the human sexuality thing, the, the abnormal, like all the different varieties. I used to think it's just gay, straight, man, woman, transgender. But you see, you can be gay in a woman's body, attracted to either men or women, or to transvestites. You did all the varieties think you could be attracted to. All the varieties of genders you could be identified with. All the varieties of, you know, and then all the combinations of all of these. It's just such a beautiful, the cosmos is such a beautiful happening. It's a work of art. I mean, we just choose different ways of perceiving what it is. And every one of them is just one way of looking at it. Every individual one of us is one perspective on it all. You see? And then now, if each one of us can speak our truth, 
and be true to ourselves. This is what we're learning, what I'm learning, and then yet be true to the whole and be befitting with society and not be ostracized, not be kicked out of college classroom, not be kicked out of uh, uh, Christian prayer group, because then I can be considered to their values and then and, and they know I'm being sincere and I can say it in a way that don't offend them, don't piss them off. See, that's the thing, and it's worth having gone to all of our been to, to realize that. Amen. <laughs> yeah.